can be used for anything you like, but the most common use is for a modem to plug in something for communications to other computers, to other cities. Okay, we finished our tour. Let's plug this machine in. We'll start with our power end. First of all, let's get all of these cables loose. And we'll take the rubber band off here. Okay, here we go. This is quite heavy, so put it on the floor somewhere convenient. This part plugs into the power connector we mentioned previously. Let's take a look at that, and here we go. Okay, now this part will plug into our power plug in the floor. We'll hook that up a little later. The only thing left now is to hook up our TV set. Here we have quite a long cable. So if you have a big TV set, you can stand well back from it. There's a, long, a lot of distance here. Once again, the place we hook it up, on the back, TV sets plug into this connector here called the RF connector, and this is what goes to the TV set itself. But first, the antenna switch box. We plug it in there, and if we want to watch TV, we can hook our antenna there. If, for watching TV, we switch over to our antenna. For, for using the computer, we switch over to the computer. Either way, the signal comes in and hooks onto the back of our television set here. Let's turn our computer around again, and we'll hook things into the back of our TV set on the little screw terminals that you always find there. Okay, and there we go. By the way, there are some sorts of television sets that have an unusual antenna connection. Instead of the two screw connections, you'll find a little, what's called a 75 ohm connection. If you have that, you can buy a little adapter at your television store to do the job on there. Now, that's all we need for our minimum computer setup. The things that come in the box and your home television set. But if you want to, you can spend extra money and you can get a more deluxe version of the 64. You can add things to it. I'd like to talk to some, about some of those. Let's move over to the desk here and talk about what we have here. First of all, this is not a television set. This is called a monitor. About the only way you can tell the difference is that this one doesn't really have a tuner.